The gospel is our sure foundation. He gives the other ground because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Again, hope, faith, and love are united here beautifully in this book. What is our hope? We have hope in something that's outside of us. We have hope in God's word. We have hope in Jesus, who's at the right hand of the Father. We have hope in the Spirit, who continues to work in us. We have hope in the promise that Christ will return. The main focus here is that it's a hope that's in heaven. Our hope is not in this world. Our hope is not in making this world a better place. Our hope is in the new heavens and the new earth when Christ is going to come back and redeem not only this world that's groaning for him, but our hearts that are groaning for redemption. Our hope is in the future life where there is eternal life. There is no death. There is no destruction. There is no rust or moth to destroy. We have to remember we're sojourning here. We're sojourning And our hope is supposed to be where Christ is, at the right hand of the Father, and we're waiting for Him to come back, and He will make all things new. So we have to believe in that promise. We have to believe in that promise that He is going to return and bring us home with glorified bodies. This is the challenge to you, Christian. Do you find the pure Savior as precious, or is it our purchases and our power here in this world? What is precious to us most? Is it the pure Savior or the things that we get in this world, and that is our purchasing power? Is the gospel the treasure that you are willing to give everything up for? Is the gospel that treasure that you're willing to sell everything for to go buy the land and dig it up? Are you setting your heart in the heavens where Christ is? Is your primary ambition to glorify God and receive a crown there instead of here? 